hello guys and welcome back to our channel welcome back to our lovely kitchen mm -hmm. where we're going to be cooking it down uh, if we were reducing something like a demi glass <laughs> we're in the kitchen with chef don mm -hmm. we're excited for today's I'm video chef Dan, by the way this is yeah. tiffany active chef mm -hmm. and i'm a sous chef mm -hmm. so i'm learning a lot and today's me what we're cooking what we're cooking uh we were going to cook pecan crusted tenderloin mm -hmm. uh, but we swapped out the pecans again because of nut uh, factors and stuff like that and we're just going to use a herb and a well seasoned breadcrumb uh, I made these breadcrumbs fresh uh, we had some hot dog buns that I put in the freezer and what I did was I uh, uh, put them in the food processor pulsed them for a couple of moments and then uh, 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 spread it out on the sheet pan put it in the oven for a little while to get it toasted so and impart mm -hmm. some more flavor to it. I put some uh, an egg white in there, one egg white, mixed it up with some clarified butter. Oh. And so this is, like I said, the levels of flavor. Now, uh, we have our pork tenderloin. I've already trimmed it up. I took off the sinew and that. I'm just gonna put some salt and pepper on it. We're gonna roll this guy up. Put it in the oven, roast it, right? Yeah. Should I go through this whole thing? Yeah, you can okay. do it <laughs> Roast it. Um, inside parchment paper. I'm gonna roast it that way. Uh, and then I'm gonna serve it with some uh, sweet potatoes. Is which that are mash? ma mashed sweet potatoes. Thank you, Seuss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good mm -hmm. <to> chef. <laughs> <laughs> Saute spinach uh, with that. I'm gonna make a demi glace, a little mock demi glace with roast red pear. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That's going to be good. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm excited for this Sunday dinner. Mm -hmm. So, chef, I'm going to help you with what? Okay. Washing the spinach. You can wash the spinach for me on tips of it, okay. the stems. Because this one, even though they're this, they're cool, but I don't think that's baby spinach, so just cut off the stems. Okay. You know, and then I'll saute it up with some seasonings and you can have that. Okay, All let's right. get cooking. Okay. Salt. Oh yeah, just salt in case there's any bugs in it. Yeah. Well, I'm using this regular black pepper, but I'm going to use some Himalayan salt to, for our salt factor. Right it's a little bit on both sides, on all sides, I should say. You know, normally, Tiffany, I would um, sear this thing in the hot pan. Sear it to the pan? Yeah, I would, but I don't think that's necessary. So we're going to roast it up. Uh, Oh, okay. okay. Now the tricky part is <laughs> getting this thing rolled properly. Okay. Probably need a drum roll or something. Snowed a lot here in Illinois. I don't know if that's happening around the country, but I just know I had to shovel a lot of snow. I had my girls to help me. I would have had my son, but he had a job to do inside the house, which was greatly appreciated. Oh, I'm losing some of my product. You have a son to help? Is that nine year old Elijah? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that's nine year old Elijah. So, I'll take this. Sheet pan here. Place this down like that. I can close this up because I was losing some breadcrumbs. We're going to place this in the oven in a 375 degree oven for about 45 minutes to an hour. That should do it. These are our roasted prayers. I'm going to uh, put the bigger ones in a blender. Blend it out, strain it, add some of my demi gloss to it, which I already have made. And uh, we're going to use that as a sauce, as you will. So these guys are kind of warm. <laughs> so I used one whole pear and I cut it into apes. And uh, I roasted it in the oven for 15 minutes at 380 degrees. I know I said 375 before, but I had the pears on 380. And uh, 
Also slice them up because I'm going to use these to kind of uh, set my plate up and decorate it a little bit when I, for my presentation. We're going to take these, add a little demi gloss. We're going to blend them up, try to liquefy them as much as possible. And I'm going to strain them and then I'm going to cook those down a little bit. You know we have the best ginger beer in Jamaica. <laughs> this is DNG ginger beer. You make your snowman? Oh my God. They build the bottom part, it's cold. The children just came in, they were actually outside trying to build a snowman. I'm not going out there to help because it's cold out there, so. I'll probably go out when I get a chance. Yeah, but I'm not going out there, it's too <laughs> cold. <laughs> Start uh, cutting up the spinach. The spinach. Get ready for it to be sauteed. And, okay. You know, it took us, uh, what, an hour? Yeah. Kids not an hour to clean up the driveway and stuff because we, we did our neighbors as well. But uh, um, we're going to, uh, I'm just hoping it doesn't snow. So to shovel snow again. Really. It is a lot. It is. I was watching you struggling in that snow. Oh, really? Because of how high it is. Yeah, well, I, what I did was I took off the top layer about three or four inches of the top layer and then I would do the bottom layer which is another three or four inches so that it's way I wouldn't lot. be lifting the heavy stuff you know it's a lot yeah it's a lot <laughs> it's a lot but I put down enough salt I hope to uh, kind of uh, manage the, the snow that's still snowing it's not as thick and heavy as it was earlier up until last night anyway yeah you know I'm gonna cut up the spinach do you want um, to get your knife uh, yeah, this chef one? knife. No, the utility chef knife. The one that's in the uh, uh, drain thing. The uh, wash thing. I don't know what you're talking about. You wash dishes, you put them in the in a Which one? Oh, this one? Yeah, the brown handle one. No. Oh, this one. Listen, yeah. I don't know anything about all these knives. Okay, whenever you pass somebody a knife, you don't hand it to them in their hand. You place it down somewhere safe. Okay. Okay. That's dangerous. Okay. What if the person don't see you? They turn around and then you stab at it and they grab the, the blade. So you always okay. lay a knife down. You never try to catch a knife if it falls. You just move out the way. Let that sucker fall. <laughs> yeah, no. All right. So I'm just going to cut off the stems here. This is garbage. Okay. Um, oh. Let's put it away. I appreciate you, Sue Chef. You're so sweet. This has got to, you know, all my years of working in the industry, this has got to be the sweetest, finest Sue <laughs> Chef I've ever had the pleasure of working with. So I'm just, I'm just happy. And as my friends will tell me, I'm a blessed man. <laughs> oh, oh my God. God. So let's put these uh, spinach leaves in here. They've already been washed by my Seuss over there. And some more because as you know spinach is going to shrink i don't know if you know that it shrinks by about 50 percent it seems like so and i'm actually eating half this amount because yeah. i love spinach and me too me too i, I grew up watching now, if i eat half and you eat the other half what are the children going to get so i'm okay. eating half and the other half <laughs> shit for all of you. <laughs> as i was saying I, I grew up with um watching popeye's cartoon so i like spinach it, you know, got out of me spinach. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be good, build muscles and stuff. Very know. good. It reminds me, you know, because when I came to America, I was like, we have this thing called Kalalu. Oh, in yeah, Kalalu. It's, it's in the spinach. It's the family. best, yeah. Yeah, all that stuff is And I couldn't spinach. find anything close to it, and then here comes spinach. Mm -hmm. mm, here comes closest. spinach, dressed yeah. in his green leaves. <laughs> so <laughs> I can. <laughs> You know, another thing that's uh, close to uh, Kalu is Swiss chard, in placement of uh, Kalu. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a little bit more pricier than spinach, though. Yeah, but you can use Swiss chard, too. It has a little bit more texture to it, though. It's a little bit more rougher. Oh. So, what is the baby? Mm -hmm. That's a leaf. Here? Yeah, and that one. Don't want to waste the spinach. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> See? Now she's paying wife. Before she was a Seuss, now she's a wife. <laughs> and when you have having baby spinach, you don't have to cut off these stems so much. You know, because they're really tender, baby spinaches. 
you know what would be good? What's if I it? make you steak one day. Steak? Yeah. I've watched you cook steak. Okay. What you kind know? of steak are you going to make for me? I don't know. What if I make fil um, filet mignon? Filet mignon? <laughs> <laughs> really? Filet mignon? Yes. Uh, you um, can. I don't know. Just, I mean, we're not steak people. We no, we're not. fancy steak in mm -hmm. here. But, you know, we live I in the state of Illinois, but we're not state people. <laughs> eat it probably once every two years. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not something that we eat. we don't like. It, mm -hmm. But I think I should. Make Let's start making a, a like a steak taco or. A, oh yeah. Then we might have it once. Maybe we might have it once in a six year. months or something. I would say a year. Here? Yeah. Yeah, okay. because we, you know, when you make taco, it's mostly chicken or beef. Yeah. Yeah. Or what? Well, sometimes pork. turkey. Yeah, turkey. Pork. Yeah. And so, oh my gosh, you know what? Comment down below and let us know some food you would like to see Chef Dan do. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't matter where it's from. Yeah, because Dan is an international chef. I, I'm not cooking no yak. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you're horrible. You're going to see Jamaican food. Yeah. And someone asked about, I don't remember if it was oxtail. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be making Jamaican style oxtail. Oh, that's good. I like oxtail. Because yeah, that's the best style, Jamaican style. <laughs> Yeah. Not to be you no, it's okay. I, I, I can I can appreciate that. I, I like Jamaican. It's it's a lot of stuff that I would normally eat uh, in American style, if you will. Mm -hmm. That I will eat Jamaican style. Just like liver. I don't really like liver. If somebody makes a Jamaican way. I'll, I'll you know I'll at least taste it once. You know yeah. what? I used to eat liver. You know, cook Jamaican way. But I don't like it because I don't know. I start thinking oh my gosh this thing is an organ yeah and it kind of freaked me out i'm like I probably shouldn't be eating organ mm -hmm. anybody organ yeah well, let me tell you an interesting story about that i had a friend who uh was a butcher mm -hmm. and uh, uh they uh you know they, they they get fresh meat in and they make it up or whatever and then they sell it to the public well they told me the story about one of the uh customers who bought liver now when they get liver sometimes beef liver there's this yellow stuff on it, and I've uh, come to know that that can be cancerous. Wow. So what happened was they sold the liver to this, to this customer, one of the regular customers that bought the, the uh, liver. So they took it home, and they're about to pre prep the liver. You know, they wasn't doing American style, so it wasn't going to uh, julienne it up. They was just going to cut, you know, like sandwich sized pieces of liver. Mm -hmm. So she has it on the table. The phone rings. She goes to answer the phone. And which, as she's looking on the phone, you know, the liver that was here was here. She said, how did that happen? So she, you know, she made sure it wasn't a water on the table and she moved it back. She went into a conversation. When she turned around, the liver was moving by itself, right? So of course it freaked her out, <laughs> you know? So she took it back to the butcher, my friends, and they said, oh, we're sorry, that, that's cancer. Wow. You know, and you, it's very active and you have to, uh, we were supposed to cut that out on the how we missed that, but they cut it out, right? And oh my gosh. Co coincidentally, the, the, the wife of the, the, of my friends who owned the butcher shop, she died of cancer. Okay. So she died of cancer? Yeah, she died of cancer. These are my, uh, roasted, my presentation stuff, which is the roasted red pear. Still waiting for my pears to get uh, really soft because now I added the roast pears to the demi gloss and let that simmer for about 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. It's been 20 minutes now in the oven for our pork, so we got another 25 to uh, 35 more minutes left. The grass, no other grass, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're growing your mouth starch, Donna. Mm. Yes, I'm. you asked me to. <laughs> My wife has asked me to grow a goatee, you know, which is what this style is. And it, it, if you remember from a while, I used to have just this one long line down here, a mustache. She wants me to grow a full goatee. Which yeah, is I like easy. that look. It looks yeah. nice. Honey. Do I look distinguished or what? <laughs> <laughs> but I love it. Oh, good. Well, anything for you, baby. Anything for you. 
have here? We have Alexandra here. Are you watching mm. Bubba Guppy? Mm. Say hi. Bye. What I'm doing now is uh, this is my garnish, my parsley. And instead of chopping it up fine and rinsing it in a cheesecloth and you know draining and stuff and doing one of those things, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna leave the whole leaves there and I'm gonna strategically place them on the pork. <laughs> my uh, pears, our red pears have been simmering. Sorry, my daughter wants to stage. Alexandra? <laughs> By the way, when the pork tenderloin is ready, the crusted pork tenderloin, I'm going to slice it on a bias and I'll put about three, three and a half ounces on each plate. You know, lay down the sauteed spinach, uh, the pears in the back of, as a fan, and then pour a little bit of the demi gloss around that, and it's going to look great. Ooh. <laughs> Wine down purchase. Concord grape. Yeah, Concord grape. Is it wine or juice? This one. This one. Okay, so that's what we're doing because we're having communion yeah. today. And I grew up, uh, when I was little, my, my aunt had a bottle of Morgan David Concord grape wine in her cabinet. And uh, as kids, you know, on Sundays, uh, we would have uh, communion. You know, she did it quite often because uh, the Bible says it is as often as you can or, or in remembrance of me this is jesus doing talking take of this bread eat and drink this cup of wine which represents my blood so we want to keep jesus on our mind every day every second of the day yes. that's the only way you're going to win this world uh you need to stay connected there was a favorite song of mine uh, by this jamaican group and uh, they featured this uh this uh, uh dj which is, it's like a rapper in, our, in American terms. But uh, uh, he got born again, and it was called Stay Connected. And it's, a, it's about a 17 minute song, man. And you're, you're listening to the song, and you're waiting. And then at the end, here comes the DJ, man. He is it. that your part? <laughs> Never talk as fast as he could. You That's know. Papa Son. Yeah, Papa Son, you know. But he'd be jamming it, man. <laughs> and I always love the song entirely because it says Stay Connected to the one. Who's right? One true God, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's it for that. I <laughs> <laughs> we make the spinach, the sauté spinach. A little technical mishap while I was making the pork. Checking the temperature uh, with my uh, thermometer. Again. 165, no less than 155, right? And everything was going along fine, and then the cookie sheet kind of slipped, and it dropped. <laughs> it didn't drop from a high um, height, but it dropped enough to knock off a lot of my uh, breadcrumbs that I had spent so much time in doing. So anyway, it's not the best job I've done, <laughs> you know, of course. And you know, at, at the restaurant, sometimes we start over from scratch with something like this, but it's not necessary. This is a family thing, so it's all good. Okay. It'd be like making a cake. As long cake... as it didn't jump on the No, 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 it's yeah. inside the parchment paper. But uh, uh, it's like making a cake, and you know how to make the cake, and it's so crumbly that it falls apart, right? But you put the cake together, you put the icing on it, nobody knows, and it still tastes good. <laughs> so, oh. so let's saute our spinach. Four. That smells so good. Down our port. You're trying to help? No, <laughs> she is. Yeah. Okay, spinach behind that. Just like that. Pears. Paste them like that. Ooh. 
That looks so good. Thank you. Our roasted pear sauce. Mm -mm. Take a couple of leaves. Looks so good. Get crusted, which was supposed to be a pecan crusted pork tenderloin. Going to finish. Why did you put off that? So you're going to finish plating the rest? Yes, I am. Yes. It's supposed to be a pecan crusted pork tenderloin, but we use breadcrumbs to avoid kind of allergies and stuff like that. Added uh, some clarified butter and an egg white to kind of hold it together. It's on a bed of uh, mashed sweet potatoes. Took a red pear and we roasted it. A demi glace and you know, uh, simmer that for 10 minutes. And then we pureed it, made it into a type of sauce. And we sauteed some fresh spinach. And we used some, some of the pears to kind of garnish the whole plate. And this says so always good to gather with <laughs> family. And babies who throw their pacifier just anyway. <laughs> Yeah, so we hope you did enjoy this video. We love and appreciate you guys. And yeah, comment down below what food you like to see Don cook to catch you in our next video. And for now, we say remember to walk in love, stay in love, <laughs> and stay connected to God. And you do have a lovely day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.